Hi guys, I hope you can hear me. It's early in the morning. So I just wanted to share some mini smash books that I made for a couple of friends of mine. Um, if you have been watching my videos recently, I am on a cinch craze and I just, it's just so fun. So I made two mini smash books. Just make sure you guys could see it. And um, I'm just going to go through it and share for you guys or with you guys. So one is from, or one is for a subscriber, Pam, and who became a new friend. And then one is for Robin, who's been my friend for a while. So I'll show you this one first. I used all kinds of papers. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. I used um, two sheets of paper here. I just love this effect when you have two sheets of paper. And this is from like a like a tropical collection. I forget which one. I had um, a cut apart that I got recently at a planner meetup. And then I have a Project Life sticker. And then, so this is made out of chipboard. And then the envelope here. I do have a card in here, I think. Did I put a card in here? Oh, I didn't. I was probably waiting for it to dry, but I'll, oh, there it is. I think I just have my little the little note that I wrote. And then um, I have some double-sided paper, a pocket with the tag here. Super cute. I love how many it is. I added a fishtail banner. I have a little belly band with some Project Life cards and also a homemade journaling card. This is close to my heart, double-sided paper. I just used old scrapbook, old scrapbook paper, which is perfect. A tag, a corner pocket with some goodies. If the page is blank, I tried to put some sort of something so that it could be prettier. This is beautiful paper. I did a large banner. Some extra paper that I had in my stash. Most of these papers were already six by six. I just love the, dif the different shapes, the different pockets. I have a tag in here and a Project Life card. I like to cut them different sizes. It just it just looks more fun. Now this tag is facing that way. More paper. Another banner. So she can use it to journal as a mini album, as a junk journal, smash book, whatevs. And then we are at the back cover. So I thought it was super cute. And this one is going to my friend Pam. And here's the, the other one that I put a little, this is actually the brand Project Life sticker, Oh Happy Day. And then I used um, the paper. This is another sheet of paper from this tropical set that I have, I don't know what it's called. And then it's a whole mixture of papers. So I can't really tell you what collection these are from. It's cause I use my stash. I have an envelope here. I do have a card in here, but I'm gonna put my note in there. I guess I could just leave both in there. And then some double-sided paper, or I made it double-sided. They were blank on the other side. And I just put two papers together. This paper is double-sided from close to my heart. Some popsicles. I have a belly band. I put a card here, a homemade journaling card, a banner. So you could see that my style is pretty much the same, but they're different as well. So I have this pocket with a tag. More paper, <coughs> excuse me, I have a large tag. And I just realized that I mispunched it. I'm gonna fix that. 
some birds. A corner pocket here with some journaling cards. And then I have a scrap of paper, a cute little piece of paper, this nice print, a side pocket with some goodies in there, a tag, a little journaling spot right there. This decorative paper, just so pretty. This is lined, so she could journal there. And then we're at the end of the book. They're just so fun to make, so fun to assemble. They're super easy. I really like the chipboard because it's so hard and it just gives the cover like a really nice clean cover that's just so awesome. So yeah, but along with that, I'm going to give them a pack of goodies. So I have them right here. Looks like this. I just did like my paper, paper bags, surprise bags, and I just wrote, enjoy a bag full of goodies to help you build your own journal. So if they decide on making their own journal, they can add these goodies. Um, to add to their journal. So it'll end up looking like this, but I'll show you what I'm giving them. So in the large pocket, I have a time sheet. I'm just stuffing it in there. It fits like right on it. It's like the size of the paper bag. I'm just gonna flip it over. I have a timesheet, a layaway tag, a couple of guest checks, a couple of envelopes. I have ledger paper, and that's what's in the top. And then in the bottom, so I cut it and made it a pocket, put some decorative paper, in the bottom pocket, I'm adding an envelope and some receipt paper. Let me just put it together. That's what I did earlier. And then I have a little index card, some Rolodex paper, some pockets with library cards, pockets with date due cards, a shipping tag, and a mini manila folder. I have all of that. And, uh-oh, did I glue the sides too much? I might have to put the envelope for this one. What did I do? This is what happens when you do. So, anyways, it fit in there, but I might have made my pocket too small. I don't think so. It looks pretty full. Let's see. The struggle when you're trying to make a video. There you go. It fit. <laughs> Is this not going to fit? Nope. Okay. I like to spread it out a little bit. Just like that. And I'll just put the envelope right there. So they all have the same contents and I just think it's a cute little way because <clears throat> if they ever decide to make a junk journal, then they could use the bag as part of the junk journal too. So I have my little packages for them and the little books. So yeah, I just wanted to share the goodies that I'm sending to my YouTube friends. And I thought they're just such good ideas for gifts, for birthdays, um, for happy mail, and whatevs. So those are my little creations that I made this weekend. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!